Hey guys, what's good? It's your boy Pookie here. Today we've got another unboxing for you. Now this is the Husband X4 H502S. Now this is a little little altitude hold quadcopter and one of the main features about this quadcopter now it does come with a GPS. Now one of the things that does let this quadcopter down, I'd just like to say straight off the bat, is it is brushed uh, motors and you know obviously brushed motors are not the best but you know it does come with a GPS and not other you know quadcopters of this kind of range come with the GPS and it's it's pretty good because you're not gonna fly away so that's one of the main the reasons to get this quadcopter would be for the GPS you know peace of mind flying and if it does fly away you know you can bring it back with a one click return to home function now I just want to go through some of the key points of this drone. It does have a 5.8G real-time transmission, so you get the little uh, display that's built into the transmitter, and you can see a live feed of what the drone sees as as, as it's flying through the sky. So as you can see, we're just taking the transmitter out here now. We'll have a look at it. And you can see the screen built in just there. So now we'll just go through a couple of the buttons and the cells just to show you what's what with this drone. Now that switch there is to switch your GPS function on and off. This other switch here is your return to home function. So if you feel like you're a bit lost and you're flying away, you will hit the return to home. That button there is to take a picture. And then that button there is to shoot a video. Now as you know, we've got the normal sticks that you have on every kind of multi multi road cutter. And you also have the trim buttons there also. Now you've got a USB port on the side there, that's to upgrade any software, if there's a software upgrade for this transmitter. And the transmitter is pretty good, you know, it does have GPS built in, so it has to get a GPS signal along with the drone before you're able to take off. And just at the bottom now, you can see that we've just got a little box, and the little box is a spare parts box. And we've also got a couple of instruction manuals on how to calibrate this drone. As it's a GPS drone, you know you've got to do the little calibration dance. Everybody likes to do the little calibration dance. Funny as hell. So we've got the bits and pa bits and pieces of paper there, and we've got the drone. So now to the spare um, spare parts box. See what we get inside. We do actually get an extra spare um, extra set of props. So it's always good to have extra props. See what else we've got in there. We've also got the charger lead, which is a USB. And that, that charger lead is for the drone battery. You've got a couple of bags of screws, and they're just to hold the props on. So you basically click the props on and then screw the screw down through the center and that holds the props on. And there's a screwdriver provided to do so. So, you know, all in all, the build of it's pretty good. It looks like it's, you know, older brother, the Hubson with the brushless motors, but this is the brushed version. So what we're going to do now is go out, take it for a little bit of a flight and see how it goes. Catch you in a sec, guys.
Now we're going to jump to some footage of the Husband X4. Now this the camera that comes with this drone is actually pretty good. It's a 710, uh, 720p camera. Um, it gives pretty good HD quality. Now I've noticed with this quadcopter you don't actually get any kind of jello or wobble. So this really does, you know, get you some nice footage. Obviously it's not got a gimbal so you are going to get your tilting motions with this but you know if you take you know if you take this drone up and then just do some panoramic you know views with the um, GPS hold on it it's not bad at all I've, I've took this for a little fly today one of my uh, friend's sons um, sorry friend's brothers Bob Brown today he's just bought himself a little uh, Emax racer so I've just been showing him a few bits and pieces on how to get there get it up off the ground but I thought this I'd use this opportunity to get some footage with the husband um, just to show you what the camera's actually like. And the camera's pretty, you know, it's decent. It's also got headless mode with this quadcopter, as most uh, quadcopters do these days. You've got the one key return. Um, one of the things I do actually like about this quadcopter is the charging time is about 14, uh, sorry, not 14, it's 40 minutes to charge this. And your flying time, you get around two, uh, 12 minutes with this. It's one of the, like, it's de I'd definitely say that's a key selling point with this quadcopter I mean a charging time of 40 minutes and a flying time of 12 minutes and that's with the standard um, charger that comes with this and just in case anybody's wondering the battery that comes with this is a uh, 610 milliamp 2s lipo battery uh, the flight speed uh, well <laughs> stated on the website the flight speed of this is 10 meters per second now, that's pretty pretty uh, quick for a brushed quadcopter you know you, de you definitely are getting, you know, you're getting your money's worth for this quadcopter because, as I say, with other quadcopters within this price range, you're not, you're not even going to get a GPS with that. And the fact that you get a GPS with this, you know, it just, it just makes things a little bit more relaxed. You know, you can pass it down to the kids and let the kids have a fly of this. You know, you can pass it to your grandma, say, "Go on, grandma, take this for a flight." You probably won't do that, but you know, the option's always there if you do have a kind of a crazy grandma who likes to seek some frills <laughs> imagine that granny with the uh, fpv goggles on her head well, you know what that's funny uh, do you know if the I, I really need to know if there's an fpv grandma out there if there's any fpv grandmas out there please do contact me i i, I need to see this and also show me your skills your skills would be good so I think that's pretty much for this quadcopter review. <laughs> Dylan there crashing into the ground. So, you know, if I was to give this a rating out of 10, possibly, I'd probably rate this a 7. As I say, the only thing that does let this down is the fact that it is brushed motors. But I've looked on it and the motors where they're positioned on the quadcopter, it's a couple of screws, you can take them out and you can just unplug it and you can put, put new motors in, so it's not really much to replace it. And the fact that brushed motors these days, what you can pick up for four brushed motors for this quadcopter for probably about, what, 4 99 five quid, six quid, something like that. You know, it's a good price when you think about it. You know, it's not just gonna be one of them toy ones that you buy and throw away. You know, after your motors are burnt out or something like that, I definitely think that the fact that he's got a GPS in this, it just makes people more determined to get the remotes and actually repair the brush motors if they do ever go down. So yeah, I just want to say thanks to Gearbest for sending this out for me to review. As always, you know, I appreciate that we can get good quadcopters out here on the market and I can make a review for you guys. And I wouldn't be able to remake all these reviews if it weren't for the wonderful guys over at Gearbest. So thanks to them. So yeah, I hope you liked this video guys, and if you did like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always guys, peace out.